the Hue Outdoor Sensor allows you to automate your outdoor smart lights. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And after debuting at CES 2019, the Philips Hue Outdoor Sensor is finally available. This little sensor not only allows you to automate your lights via motion, but it gives you an outdoor temperature sensor and an outdoor light sensor. The use cases here are pretty endless, whether you use them with existing Hue lights like the Lily Spotlight or Outdoor Light Strip, or if you use them to automate your HomeKit lights that are tied to an iDevices outdoor switch or the iHome outdoor outlet. Other possibilities include turning inside lights on or off whenever there's outdoor motion and you're away from home. That way it's kind of a deterrent if anyone is kind of lurking around your home. Included in the box, you're going to find the motion sensor itself, as well as a bit of mounting hardware, different mounts for different positions, and some screws to attach this into whatever surface it's going to mount on. Since this is for outside, it does have an increased range, catching motion up to 39 feet away, much more than the interior motion sensor that he was already released. So here is the sensor itself. It is a little bit larger than the interior one, but has a more outside aesthetic with that dome covering the actual motion sensor itself and that black to kind of blend in with whatever exteriors are going on or especially in the night. This here is the basic mount. It gets attached to a wall or a flat surface and then it slides into place and you tighten the screw on the bottom. Very easy to affix if it's going onto a flat surface. However, that's not always going to be the case. You may want to mount it on a ledge up towards the top or on a corner. That's where this adapter comes into play. It's an additional plastic piece that you use whenever mounting to some sort of right angle. Whether that's going to be on a ledge or on a corner, it just attaches to the back of the motion sensor itself. Here it could be a right angle on the corner of your house, or if you flip it 90 degrees to the side, it'll now work on a ledge, either angling up or angling down depending on where it's mounted. Mounting things outside is always going to be a bit trickier than mounting stuff inside. The interior one has just a simple little magnetic mount that can go on a fridge or easily to a wall. But outside, you need to make sure it's secure and not easily going to get stolen. Luckily, this thing will be screwed into place, so that's not going to happen unless someone comes prepared with a screwdriver and really, really wants that Hue motion sensor. Setup is easy and painless. Simply press this setup button on the back and will flash a little amber light just on the bottom there. Go into the Hue app and add accessory. From the list, you choose the Hue Outdoor Sensor. It's not just a motion sensor because it has a light sensor and a temperature sensor as well. The app then walks you through removing that mounting plate and pressing that setup button on the back. Once you've done so, again it'll flash that amber color and you can continue the setup here in the app. It'll discover pretty quickly and then you can go through actually adding scenes and automations to this device. In our case, we're going to add it to our patio and we're gonna use it to automate our lights that are there, turning them on or off when it's nighttime. Here you can see is our basic schedule. So during the day, it'll automatically turn on when it detects motion between certain hours to the bright setting, and after 10 minutes of no motion, it'll turn off. Similarly, at night, it'll turn on, but this time to the dimmed mode. There are other options such as different scenes and other ones that you can choose from, and then after it detects no motion, it'll turn off. You can change the light sensitivity and the motion sensitivity to get them dialed in to exactly what you're looking for. Now, as I mentioned before, this does work with Apple HomeKit. So once we've added it here to the actual Philips Hue app, it'll be available inside of our HomeKit home. We're going to switch from the Hue app to Apple's Home app. This gives us access to a motion sensor, a light sensor, and the temperature sensor. So you can do all sorts of things with those. You can ask Siri what the temperature it is outside out on your patio, or you can trigger lights on and off based on brightness, ones that aren't within the Hue ecosystem, but are within HomeKit. Maybe you have an outdoor light that is controlled by a wall switch inside, and you've replaced that with a HomeKit wall switch, this motion sensor could turn those lights on. Or maybe you have an outdoor light strip, like the Hue outdoor light strip. Then whenever someone walks up your patio, this light will automatically turn on. It's a huge convenience for you when you're leaving, convenience for someone else who's arriving, and a way to ward off burglars because maybe they walk up and all of a sudden the lights come on, they think someone may be home. This is the first HomeKit outdoor sensor and it opens a ton of possibilities for automating your home. If you want to grab one, there's a link down below in the description. Enjoy that video? Click like and press on that subscribe button. 
Be sure to check out the Apple Insider Price Guide that has the best deals on Apple devices and is updated daily. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys in the next video.